Hi everyone, it's me, Haimelin Ibalaro, a BL third year student. Now we will be learning together about the introduction to TPAC framework or the technological pedagogical content knowledge. So here is our learning objective for this lesson. K, identify the components of TPAC. S, compare and contrast the components of TPAC. And A, internalize the use of TPAC in elementary education. So TPAC. It was developed by Meshra and Kohler in 2006, and it is a framework that integrates technology in education to help encapsulate the complex interactions among content, pedagogy, and the technology. What exactly is TPAC? Looking at this um, framework beside, it shows the interconnections of the content with the pedagogical knowledge and the integration of technology in making teaching more engaging, relevant, and effective. TPAC or the Technological, Pedagogical, and Content Knowledge, it was previously known as TechPAC or the TPCK and now TPAC. It was a capability of the 21st century teacher. Looking at this framework or the model, it shows or emphasizes the connections and interactions, accordances, and constraints between and among the content, pedagogy, and the technology are the three main components of the TPAC. On the outside, or it shows the interaction between and among the bodies of knowledge or the TCK or the pedagogical knowledge, the TCK or the technological content knowledge, the PK, technological pedagogical knowledge, and the TPAC or the te technological pedagogical knowledge, which are significant in teaching and learning with the use of technology to become successful. First component is the CK or the content knowledge. Here, as a teacher, you should have the knowledge about the subject matter. You should master the content of the lesson for you to have to cause erroneous information to learners that may develop misconception about the subject matter. Some examples include mastery of the curriculum content, deep understanding of key concepts and principles, the ability to convey complex ideas in a simple, simplified manner, and the knowledge of relevant resources and materials. The second component is the PK or the pedagogical knowledge. Here, you as a teacher must develop deep knowledge about the process and practices or method of teaching and learning. It includes lesson planning, classroom management skills, understanding how students how student learned and student assessment. Some example includes the classroom management techniques, the strategies for fostering student engagement, differentiated instruction methods, the assessment and feedback strategies, and understanding of developmental strategies and learning materials. Teacher with profound pedagogical knowledge facilitate students' construction of knowledge and acquisition of skills and help students in developing habits of minds and positive dispositions towards learning. Therefore, understanding of cognitive, social, and developmental theories of learning and how they, they apply to student classroom are prerequisite of the pedagogical knowledge. The third component is the TK or the technological knowledge. So in this, it, the teacher should have the knowledge on how to select use and integrate tools or technology into teaching so in teaching and learning process she should understand the various technology work and how they can be applied in educational settings he or she should have the knowledge about software hardware and digital tools some examples of tk includes the teacher's proficiency with educational software and tools integrating multimedia and digital resources into lessons, and understanding of online learning platforms, the knowledge of data privacy and online safety, and the adaptation to emerging technologies for education, such as virtual reality or AI-driven tools. Those are the three co main components of the TIPA, the TK or technological knowledge, the CK or the content knowledge, and the PK or the pedagogical knowledge. So. This end my discussion and I hope you learned something from it. Thank you for watching.